the how much you can eat. No? But I will tell you that it's really of a cost, right? And kanina, with the sharing with uh, Sir Jerry and Mamsesi, we learned that SAP is built not to be replacement of work, but actually to enhance how you work. And you guys, as engineers, no, kahit ano pang mga engineer, eh, people develop. Engineers try to develop better process, product, and things. You can't build better products by simply building some tools, no? Right? You don't, you don't build statues by building chisels and hammers. You build good statues by turning the right amount of pagpukpok, di ba? Para hindi magbiyak yung monumento. Okay? So, you guys are that future that we want to be where as we increase our technology, improve our technology process in terms of industrial engineering, especially the supply chain, it's still up to us or you that we should be able to give more and do more for the enterprise. So, aasahan kayo ng mga future CEOs or leads that you will be going into that using these tools that we give you, you make use of them so that you can make better anal analysis, wiser decisions in your, uh, in your career. Okay? So, with that, um, let me segue on the last two parts of what we call the future of SAP. So, ano ba kaya yung SAP na dadatnan ninyo in the future? Kasi yung mga senior ko is already what's the standard or the basic that is used by almost every other company right now. And as a company, SAP never stops to improve. And today, we will discuss what's the future of SAP, the future of SAP. So today, at this time, let me quickly introduce to you the term SAP X4 Okay. So, ano yung SAP S4 HANA? Actually, yung term na to is invento ng kinansap. They call their product to be S4 HANA. And in their discussion, sabi nila, papayon na yung dami namin SAP, which is SAP, ang tawag nila natin is SAP um, R3. So, ano yung problems na na-encounter ng people with using SAP? So, minasabi, ang dami pa rin volume at the end of it, millions of materials, tapos meron lang 0.05 na mali. So, para mag-backtrack mo yun, are you going to check all those 1 million materials? Diba? So, it's a bit hard. So, SAP wanted to develop technology that would help you increase real-time analysis and real-time reporting. So, hindi nyo nga tayo pa yung mag-man-end para ma-check mo yung mga values in your um, activities. Every day, because everything is already working as automated in some way, if you click some button, then you just have to, sabi nga, analyze, monitor, and inspect. And how do you do that? You need to do some better root analytics. And what would be more better if yung analysis ninyo and yung reporting ninyo is on a click of a button so what's the first state? You can see it in agency. And so they have created what we call SAP Business Suite powered by SAP HANA. SAP HANA kasi is a, uh, it's a new technology that involves faster transactions ever before. It doesn't use the traditional servers na ginagawa natin. It doesn't use the traditional isang malaking malaking database Excel sheet. What it does is it always stores in the memory all of your transactions. Now, this may be an IT term, and for you, I'm going to share this to you because what you should expect is that the future is that real-time analytics and reports is possible. And because of that, sabi nila, let's do real-time business. If I click a button, wala nang hihintay na transaction to fulfill or sending the um, lag, automatically is available. And in 2014, SAP pioneered the newly engineered version of SAP Enterprise Research Platform for Financials and they call it Simple Finance. Okay? So in this case, 
Pag gusto na makita, magkano ang pera natin sa bangko? Hindi na nila kailangan maghingi ng actual report or open a very big Excel sheet for them to check that. In one click of a button, there will be an immediate chart and an immediate total of everything that could give them instant insight for their checks. And right now, just this year, we have released now what we call SAP S4 HANA, which is for all of those procurement, supply relationship management, production execution, logistics, materials management, and disease order management, they now harness the power of what we call real-time analytics and real-time reporting. So last month lang uh, kami actually nagpa-complain ng certified training for this. Ano? We have this, and later I'll show you yung, yung saan na sa tayong ginawa yun. Okay? So paano na ginawa yun? So kung dati, napaka-complicate ng data. Ang dating data, they were able to simplify the model. So for you, we, People from SAP have got ano ba yung common data sa Google to? And they have come up with the most simplified accept. Ayan. Okay? Next naman, ang nakalagay ito is completely um, mobile. Ayan. So, completely mobile. People now are able to use them not just in your desktops or laptops or computers. They wanted that because it's simplified, they can just go around your factory, may dala ang iPad, and you can check them out. Okay? And third, SAP HANA promises that even if you do something, it's, there's an available instruction, that's what we call guided configuration, where it will lead you for the proper things to do. So, pwede hindi na mangyari yung errors na mali yung nilagay because anytime you do it, there is a prompt that should tell you what to do. Okay? So in the world of SAP, that is a bit complicated on the left side. As you can see there, ang daming pula. But right now, what will happen is that isa na lang na location of SAP, which makes it more simpler. So sabi ng market, we will have that starting this year, 2015. So sa mga gagraduate <laughs> 2016 na ba ang graduation? Or... Yeah, next. Saan? Saan? Okay. By next year, I assume that at least by your 10 or 15% of the SAP users or companies that uses SAP, they have already started migrating their uh, tools or their SAPs into the future, which is SAP successful. So, major pressure pala to kasi sabihin, dapat hindi na kayo nag-iintay, real time. So people should monitor proactively and analyze proactively. So, let me just move forward yeah, with ano ba talaga yung kaya yung gawin. And actually, I'm gonna have a quick sharing of an actual SAP S4 HANA na sample. So, gawin natin siya. So, sabi niya dito, SAP HANA is real-time and simplified. And to do that, we have this thing called text mining, which it will be able to automatically search the right tools for you to do that. Simulation and decision support. Okay? And then, papakita ko lang mag-bless yung mga sample of kung kanina medyo parang mukhang old-school na software. As you can see right now, parang Parang kayo sa Apple website na lang, di ba? Yan, okay? It's much faster because 100% it's web-based using tools and you will have instant reports and decision support systems in your um, tool set. Workflows that would let you check with which part of the work uh, in your work you should be including, syempre, yung production planning in your execution, at least a distribution. And at the end of it, reports that would be more helpful at your end. Okay? Ayan. Sige, tapusin na lang natin yung mga slide. Diba? Another report that shows you analytics, sino ba yung parating may problema sa office. Okay? So, ito yung difference, di ba? Yung sa kaliwa, medyo parang Windows 98 ba? <laughs> ito, yung sa kanan, mukha Windows 10. Ganoon, di ba? Mas maganda na siya. And, 
hindi lang ang tatapos about being better looking. As I've said, kung pwede sa iPad, it's also something that you can use in mobile. So imagine a workplace na papasok kayo sa office, dala nyo, siguro na cellphone na lang or iPad, di ba? And you can already do these things together. Okay? Ayan. So let's try now, no, to check. Teka, nakabuhas ba yung SAT na natin? Okay? Let me open lang sa dali. Ayan. So, ako maliit yung screen. Ayan. So what I have here is a sample SAP instance that I've asked SAP to share. Medyo laki ang may data natin ng mga rocket. Kita na ba? <laughs> Kaya naman po yun. Okay? Ayan, okay? This is an example SAP instance. So, when I open, as you can see, it's para na lang kayong may iPad, di ba? It's more responsive. What I have here lang are samples for project management, marketing, and uh, uh, consumer simulation, and then accounting, kasi yun lang yung available na free sa kaya. So, hindi ko na binili ha. <laughs> okay? So, let's try to check a sample, let's say, financial statement. Ay, may pass rate. Wait lang. So what I ask for um, from staff is, sabi ko, ayan, o login pa lang, mahala mo, Instagram na, di ba? Okay? So let's try that, the future of SAP. This is staff is for HANA, loading and seeing how you would use things inside your application. So let's try to open my, what we call, um, launchpad. It means, doon lahat ng aking mga transactions in my work. So, what ang trabaho ko is to check guided or customer plans, then I simply click this button that tells me this is my work. Alright? So, hindi ko yung question ko kanina, I should be someone that shows you pagkano ang ating pera today. Ayan. So, I have here what we call cash position. Can you see that? Hinighted ko pa lang yung aking task. It already shows me what should be my target. Warning low. Sabi ko, pag less than 100,000 yung pera, magwenda na tayo. And critical lows. Display financial statement, jail account balances, and so on. So, try natin buksan yung isa. Let's see kung mabilis si internet. By the way, ito is online, no? In online page. So, I have here an example report that shows us Ilan ang aming accounts receivable? And as you can see, immediately, I already know ano yung kailangan ko asikasuhin. If I'm a financial manager, I will, uh, sorry, accounting manager, I'll check that out. But hindi lang yan dashboard or charts na nang gagawin sa Excel. If I'm gonna click this, you will be able to drill them down to check siguro sino yung mga top companies or top people that shows you sino yung may una. So sabi nito si Sky Bikes Incorporated, Victoria's Incorporated. May usang sila. So, because of this, I can simply navigate through the list, change the view immediately. Gusto ko basahin yung details. Okay? And if I want to, let's say, wait, send ko sa boss ko to. Sorry, ito po yung mga kailangan namin. Eh, gusto mong i-print. Let me just simply click share. Send an email or, I don't know, send us text file, right? Or share sa Facebook. <laughs> and, pero hindi naman problema ako sa mga utang nyo sa ito sa Facebook. Yeah. 
Ito, by the way, ito yung email. No? Stick open ang email immediately kung sinabi ko to email. Okay? Ano nung kinik ko yun? It generated an email that would help me set up to my boss. So, send to my boss. Okay? Yan. So, you can do filter. You can do filtering. Which, if you use it, siguro familiar ko sa mga nasa field na, no? Yan yung mga Excel filters ninyo, using pivots, di ba? Huwag na kayo mag-Excel-Excel. Huwag na kayo mag-pivot. It's already available into your view. So, you can simply check kung gusto nyo per region, per um, location lang. So, let's say, in the Zivabos, ito kasi sample ko, mga US. But, palitan natin ng Quezon City, Hagapon, Nagotas, di ba? It will definitely be working. Okay? So, ako, hindi ko kami sa ating obviously, dahil hindi ako accountant. <laughs> but, imagine your reports in MRP would look like this. Imagine your report in the production execution part. Sino yung nagkakamali? E, ilang beses tumuhon din yung ating materials? Or ilang na yung levels ng ating materials? And then, you can think of, and nakita niyo kung gano'ng kabilis parang siya work Sir, parang kaya ako na eh. Anong gamit ko? Smart bro. <laughs> okay? That's the promise of SAP being no, ready for you guys. So, kung kayo na-addict kayo ngayon sa kaka- Instagram or may Facebook na may app na, na hindi kayo papakawalan ng mga kumpanya. Kasi kung gano'ng kayo magaling mag-puting-ting ng apps ninyo, gagalitin nyo rin yan in the future. Okay? So, sir, patingin nga ng insura ng mga cellphone. Uh, meron ba yan? Uh, mobile, uh, ano ba tayo sa ganun? Mobile? Ayan. So, as you can see, on his own, nagiging mobile din siya. So, kung nasa office ka, naka-iPad at iPhone ka lang, di, pwede na, di ba? Okay? So, ayun, mobile version of um, SAP. Hindi na siya yung bulky. And let's say, yung pinayos na pa, iPhone. Ayan. iPad. Okay? So, okay ba? Okay ba sa SAP? And the future of SAP. Okay, yes, think, no? Sorry, no? wala tayong extra time for that. I'm sure naman that you have, have you have started to have this feeling of how it could be useful for you. And in your case, siguro, excited na kayo malaman kung, Sir, saan ba kayo makapag-aral ng SDP? Okay? So with that, let's move and try to close this part and to what we call SAP trainings. Okay? So after today, I will give you some tips on where could you probably start learning about SAP na. Or probably, pwede kayo mga pag-aral or making your third papers or what that is SAP related. Walang kapya, kala ka. So, the first one is opensap.com. It's a newly um, available SAP um, learning platform where if you open it, it's free. So, you can register it with your email. I think, kakaragang integrate lang ng Facebook. And if you visit it now, you can start seeing training materials about SAP. It is supported by people who want SAP to be a standard. No? So, you can see here, it's a winner in terms of learning. And para magayon na YouTube, ano? if you open their site, there are instructional materials that aside from reading it, watching and listening to experts talk, um, teaching us how SAP could be useful and obviously how you can use SAP. So, ano ba ang tura niya? No? Let's try to give a quick snapshot of how it looks like. So, na nag-training ako, so meron akong, syempre, papakita ko yung perfect ko. No? <laughs> so, it has available video presentations and after watching these video presentations, automatic, kukuwis na nila kayo, no? So, for, for the professors, for the program, you may want to explore also openscp.com where the students could probably check this out and 
if it's something that they could uh, review or understand at the end. And at the end of the time that you have answered all of the exams, you have read all the videos, and at the end of it, there is score sheet or progress sheet that tells you that um, you're doing good. Oh yeah, again, ah, score ko yan, ah. Yeah. So ito, at this point, my results have been gold naman, and it's because it's actually easy and nice to learn here in STP. Hindi kami nagkopyahan, promise. Okay? So that's opensap.com. And aside from immediate um, results for uh, learning it, there's uh, training or uh, forums. No, there's forums where you can comment and reply. Parang Facebook, lang. okay? So again, try it out open.sap.com. So pwede niya siyang check na yon. Try to register or siguro is sa inyo try to check it out what you can. Um, take in there and review. Uh, hindi lang to pass to students, ano? This is also intended for people that's already in the industry or in the uh, in the field. Um, everyone is actually asked to join here. Not just specialists, not just developers. We ask people, customers, users, and up to students who want to learn as well. Okay? So, yun. Ngayon, there's another one, which is the last to share today, which is the training and certification shop. As you know, SAP is now a profession. No? Kung, kung ako, I will be someone that will be just doing SAP. I would really have an, a living. No? And SAP has a formal training and certification na uh, review a board, and you can actually do all of that online. So for those who are yun, sa Unilever, for people that is in the industry, probably you might have some siguro, programs that you can suggest to your siguro, training and development group that probably maka pwede kami, or kayo, certify in some way that could be for the level of users, trainers, or key users, subject matter experts that would lead you to that. And training that stops that call has a lot of offerings to give you. Even things that you probably want to learn further. If you say you want to shift your career from um, uh, material planning and then you want to say you go to financial accounting, siguro because mas, mas okay daw sa, sa organization na yun. And usually, di ba, sabihin nila sa inyo, parunong nga naman yung stock file or financials. And then, syempre, hindi. Dahil ang nasanay ka, pati as management module. So, how can you catch up? We have a formal cert training shop for that. So, just get... Obviously, this is not for free. No? Um, pride and trusted. If actually, sa Philippines, may mga versions that uh, may um, groups dito na to do this. Or baka pwede padala nila kayo or may, let's say, Singapore to do this. So, you can do that. And how many people have started no, um, being certified? When I say SAP certified, they have underwent training. They have this very, very uh, difficult exam. Difficult exam. <laughs> and then you get this ano, uh, parang SAP certified for a specific. So you can say supply chain management certification, sales and distribution certification. That should give um, an advantage for you in your career. And obviously, it's an investment as well. And I'm teaching it to you now because it's available, anyone can have it. Schools could probably want this as well. And it's, it's an advice for people who want to nourish their careers. Okay? So, be aware and prepare, as I've said, for an SAP opportunities, SAP application, or SAP career opportunities. Because I've shown you that SAP is something really useful and it's always going to be used by companies. And if you want to be with a company that is big and prestigious and they are using applications that want to enrich them, SAP is one of the things that you'll probably encounter. So use these things, tools that you can probably take with 
Sir, mamaya na lang YouTube niyan. Oo, meron. No? But syempre, hindi siya kasi extensive ng training that's coming from the formal channels. No? So, but at least right now, I'm telling you there is. So, it's up to you to cover it up. Okay? So, with that, let me end now this session by saying thank you for listening today. No? It's really a well of, and it's one of the first things or one of the first time that we have did this kind of short version of SAC 140. Usually, we, we do this, or ako, when I train new graduates sa uh, office, we have like a five-day training just for this. Five days na boom araw. So, 40 hours worth of training um, just for SAP. Hindi because mahirap siya in the head. It's because SAP is so big and so expansive, extensive to the company. There's so many things to cover, and um, it's really exciting because people have built careers out of SAP. So it's up to you to the next one will be on the lead. Okay? So with that, again, thank you. And I guess I should give the mic to our host. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alkina, for that interesting presentation. Come, please. Yeah. Before, also we would like to acknowledge the presence of Professor Marjorie Bustaga. Well, um, thank you for again. And also our advisor, Dr. Vicky Cruz. Hi, Mama. We have for only a few hours and we have to learn about the stuff. Actually, before we start, we have to start with ITA because I'm not a industrial engineer, I'm not a course that I'm not a course. I think it's the same as the SAP 44. Is it still? If you have some questions, clarification, even by the draft of the Or, meron bang gusto na mag-volunteer kahit hindi isulat? Ating mga undergrad students. Pag isa mga gabi. Sir. Hi, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Noel. Um, sir, actually, my question. I think, I'm not sure if, I think this is about technicalities of SAP. Um, because from the first, from, from the company that I'm working right now, um, we have the ACRM. Uh, customer relationship management. It's actually designed for the company itself. So we do not depend on uh, program coming from Microsoft. But my question is, um, in this talk, there's actually a, a, an old version and then the new version. So when there's a new version, there's definitely a migration. So what happens in between from the legacy and then the migration going to the renovated one. What I'm saying is the company can uh, actually have this uh, this old version and then they might probably uh, get or buy another the one which is the new updated one which is that you're saying about the most uh, the most uh, the most uh, recent uh, program of the developed by Microsoft. So what what about the migration process? Was it part of the service provided by Microsoft? Good. Sorry, no, I have to correct, no, Microsoft is uh, long, it's a process, no, but it's not a process that you will be left behind yet by the product. And then, siguro you will be thinking, nung bumili kami ng Microsoft Office 2010, tapos nung bumili kami ng Microsoft 2013, eh, bahala na kami mag-install. Hindi, no, it's not that way, because SAP already knows that your company is, 
is using real transactions involving your um, operation. So they will not leave you behind. So if the fear, I think the assurance at this point is that one, it's a process that's not manual. Number two, the data or what you, uh, what you have in your operations will be retained. And there's a way that you can, as you proceed with your operations, it will not be interrupted. And lastly, um, these are managed by professionals, obviously, by IT project teams that are formed, and it becomes a real, uh, uh, real uh, project, or it's a real brick project. Okay? So it's, uh, it's migrated, not manually. You're, left, you're not left behind. There are tools for that. Okay? are both providers of uh, enterprise software. So they are the same. However, Oracle and SAP, being different companies, produce different softwares. In this case, <coughs> SAP produces an ERP software that encompasses everything. Now, yun lang yung product ng SAP that's really big. But if I will talk now, now the whole, may ano silang data this. But, Right now, I'm telling you, SAP focuses on the enterprise software. While Oracle, Oracle has been known to be the leading database provider. Database is just simply part of the enterprise software where you save your mga data. So, for sino may mga alam ng pag sa IT, database is just part of the software. So, SAP is the application itself. While Oracle, they, they are more known of, of a bigger provider of database. Sila, Oracle is the number one traditional database management system provider in the world. With thousands of, or millions of installations. However, I think, I know some companies, Oracle have um, sold to them the idea of their kaya nila gumawa ng software ng ERP. And meron yung existing na ERP or ERP. So, um, in terms of difference, um, uh, the technology behind this number one, very different. SAP uses a different uh, programming language, if you, would, if you would say. While Oracle is also using a different language. They use different strengths between. So, I would say, magkaiba po ba sila as in terms of software from, uh, providers? Yes, magkaiba sila. The one uses different technologies and different focus. The one is a different technology as well and different focus. ERP software lang, focus, and the other one has grown to be um, uh, relational. Or can it be based lang talaga sila. Fast. But, here's the catch. Whatever type of ERP that you would be using, they will probably cover the same process. So, nagkataon lang that SAP has been the first um, company to really use the term ERP. And they have built from that since 1970s. And siguro naman, it's obvious that they have built things that are more lasting. While Oracle, they have started to date. And these companies can as well have an ERP software because binili nila yung isang company na gumawa ng ERP software may alternative and then ginawa nila. Kanya, isang nila yun. Okay? So, it's really big. There's a, a big difference. That's what the gist is. So, don't, but I think the question why or what you can tell is baka nag-worry kayo or there's a confusion. There's really big. So, different lang talaga ng software because different approach. But same 
processes about materials or words, etc. Okay, thank you. Good, good, good job. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Akmin. As a token of appreciation for your time and valuable contribution to our program, may we request Ms. Karen Austria to kindly present the certificate and token of appreciation to our guest speaker. Polytechnic University of the Philippines Graduate School and Del Pilar Campus, Santa Mesa, Manila. Certificate of recognition is perfect awarded to Mr. Anadu C. Aquina, the Center for Sharing His Knowledge and Expertise on the Topic, SAP Onboarding, during the PUP Entrance Seminar 2015, given this 8th day of August 2015 at the College of Engineering and Architecture, Audiovisual Room, Fort Floor, Sea Building, NBC Compound, BP Santa Mesa, Manila, Philippines. Signed, Dr. Vicky S. Cruz, Program Head, M. Shem, and Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, Dean Graduate School. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you Here, but it started 
to really to take that um, in your mind. Para noon, magka-interest rin talaga kayo dun sa, sa topic na uh, subject matter, which is SAP. Uh, SAP, no? Actually, I would like also to ask our speaker, for, of course, because this should, there should be a follow-up on this. It should not stop here. Korean students will just have that kind of Anyway, uh, thank you very much, sir. Um, I am this time you let also your parents that they should be also internet or savvy. There's all this, no? Para noon, madali kayong makuto sa bagong kanakaran ngayon. Because we really can't get away with computers with internet. So it's high time that you really have to invest on yourselves learning this kind of uh, software, learning this kind of, what do you call this, uh, thing, no? Uh, gamitin natin ng nasa atin. Ma maayos yung inyong gadgets, yung inyong uh, kaalaman para makatulong din tayo sa industry. Not only when the IE group, but it caters to all industries. Is there, di ba? Yan. Uh, pero ang gusto matuto kasi talagang nasa business. Because it's only in the business that you really can have more. With that, um, Uh, patulad ng sinabi ko kanina, sana magkaroon dito ng follow-up. Follow-up meaning kahit uti-uti matuto tayo, kahit yung pinakita kanina, actually that open that sap.com, you can start with that one, then we can make follow-up. Balikan natin si Sir. Sir, paano ka? Pwede ba ituro sa akin? Ito, paano yun? Pwede Sir yun ba? <laughs> Kasi nakaano ka na Sir, naka, hindi lang sa master, because the students who went to you, are with the Master of Science in Industrial Engineering and Management. Palagay po, magiging interesado rin ang undergrad ng IE sa inyo, sir. We hope for that. I know that, ang year kayo kung iho yan? 15 years. 15 years? At ako sa inyo yung kayo. So you request the stop should not be uh, left with, with the topics you will have to uh, understand and you can help with the And then we all we already get persons who really in the industry that really come to us. So salamat tayo. Again, we like to give a round of applause to the organizers. Uh, activity a reality. What does I'm saying now? Okay. Thank you very much and good day. That's all we want to recommend the MC for um simple it's a job well done. Thank you, ma'am. So yun, thank you all. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. And sana pagpatuloy po natin yung pag-aaral na tinuro ni Sir Akira. So we hope you learned a lot and happy weekend. Sa mga students, kung gusto nyo rin mag-purchase mga photo-off, pwede naman. Mga organizer, Ms. Karen. Part of our documentation. Students, 
Siguro ipapabot na lang natin sa advisor. Sa pa natin. Thank you.